Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio, and we're shooting a product spotlight on a few new products from Precision Power. We're super excited about this and what it means for the future of motorcycle audio. So hang out as we go over these new products. All right, so we've got a few new products from Precision Power, and I'm pretty excited about it because at Volunteer Audio, we're really picky on what amplifiers we'll use in our install packages. We build a lot of Harleys, and we have a lot of guys that travel a long distance or live a long ways away to buy from us, and we don't like having failures or problems. Uh, Precision Power has answered uh, probably a need in the market with a high-powered CEA-rated uh, or CEA tested Class D amplifier. And let me stop for just a second and talk about CEA specs. So there are many, many amps out there that throw a large number on a box just to get you to buy it. So they'll put a really high wattage amount out there by doing tests on their amplifiers that are kind of outside of the norm. Uh, if you have a CEA spec amplifier, they've used 14.4 volts of input current. Uh, they've done a four volt uh, input signal and less than 1% total harmonic distortion when they give you their wattage specs. So that means when they give us that spec, we can know that that's gonna actually probably be an underrated or undervalued uh, number. And we'll show you later in future videos, I've got great plans of putting this on our amp dyno, showing you the real numbers. I've seen the results, I'm excited to share them with you also. But let's get back to the amp. So we have an amplifier that is built for motorcycles. It is waterproof or water resistant. It's not submersible, but it's gonna do great in your fairing. It's IPX rated. Uh, this amplifier is made in Korea. The best amplifiers we can get used to be made in the US 20 plus years ago, but when those manufacturers left, they went to Korea. So this is not a Chinese built amplifier. It's a Korean board. It's a class D, super high efficient, but very clean sound. So when you compare this to other amplifiers, this is not an apple to apple comparison to most of the Chinese built amps. Uh, it is specced out at 100 watt to each channel, so all four channels. It's a 100 watt RMS CEA spec. That's at four ohm. At two ohm, that goes up to 150 watts per channel. In reality, when we put this on an amp dyno, you're gonna see 170 to 180 watts at two ohm uh, while still staying under 1% distortion. That's extremely important because distortion is what blows up your speaker. It's not wattage. Wattage, as long as it's clean, doesn't tend to blow it up. But most of our high powered options now in the motorcycle world are very high distortion also. So the other thing that excites me about this amp is it's available in a couple different uh, ways. So you can buy just the amplifier and it's gonna come with uh, high level inputs and low level inputs, along with speaker outputs and a power and ground connector. That's gonna be a universal setup for you to put it in anything. So maybe you've got a side-by-side -side or you've got a Harley that's already been highly modified and you wanna add this in, the universal parts will help you get it installed. On the end of the amplifier, we also have a built-in high pass or low pass filter. We have our gain adjustments, independent front and rear, and all the settings that we need to go from high to low input to make sure we get a great result on our install. At Volunteer Audio, we always go high level in when we do a Harley installation because we feel like RCAs or low level in introduces a lot of unnecessary noise from LED headlights, from the electrical system in a bike. We don't want to lower that signal down. They have to amplify it way back up. So we're gonna send it the strongest input, which is gonna be high level. Now the next part that we're excited about is we have two complete Harley specific install kits to put this amplifier completely plug and play in your bike, but they took it several steps forward. So I've got the 14 and up kit here with me. The 14 and up is gonna have an input side that simply plugs into the amplifier for its front inputs and its rear inputs. Very, very simple. So we just plug in and we've got our input side. We come to the other side and we plug into the output and this plugs in behind the radio. So whether you bought the Soundstream HDHU14 radio, uh, or if you bought, or you have a factory GT, GTS radio and such, this is gonna plug right in behind the radio, take those speaker level into the amp, back out and feed the bike. So this is gonna make it really easy. This will integrate with any of our current systems. We also, in this kit, end up with all of the CVO bypass plugs. So whether you have Boom 1 or Boom 2, all the necessary plugs to bypass the stock amps are included in this kit. Also comes with eight gauge 
power and ground wire. This is good to 60 amps of current and it's fused so. So this is copper wire, comes completely plug and play. Simply plug it into the amplifier, plug your amp turn on connector into the ignition uh, accessory port in the fairing if you have a factory radio or right into the plug on the Soundstream Reserve radio. So super easy to install at Volunteer Audio if you buy it from us in one of these configurations and we know what radio you're doing, we're gonna have it completely pre-tuned and preset ahead of time. You'll still need to flash your factory radio to correct the EQ curve and turn on the rear outputs and we'll go over that in a step-by-step -step install at a later date. Another part that comes with this, if you got a road glide, it comes with the road glide specific bracket, all the hardware to mount it under the radio. On a street glide, it's gonna come with a plate to mount it right above the stock radio using the factory mounting holes, and it's gonna bolt it right there behind that uh, speedometer cluster on top of the radio. So you get both the street glide and road glide amp plates in one part number. You get all your CVO bypass harnessing and everything it takes to install this very easily in a 14 or newer but also we have a complete 98 to 13 amplifier wiring setup also. Now, one thing about a 98 to 13 is not all your bikes had factory rear speakers. And if you didn't have factory rear speakers, there's no connector for the rear. So at Volunteer Audio, when you buy this setup from us in a 98 to 13 configuration with rear speakers, we're gonna add the 14 and newer style backbone connector and send you that rear harnessing so it's all plug and play and very easy to do when you buy it from us. But if you got factory rear speakers, everything you need is in this box. It's gonna simply plug into factory rear and front connectors, just like you saw in the 14 and over, and also includes those necessary amp plates to mount the amp in your fairing. Very excited, very, very easy to install. Uh, part number is an MAA4.400 on the amplifier. HD 13. AWK for their 13 and uh, 98 to 13 Harleys and an HD 14 dot AWK for 14 and newer Harleys. This is going to be good all the way through 22. Uh, none of these bypass harnesses are for the HD audio by Rockford that's in the 21 and newer. That'll be a later part that'll come out that uh, allow you to integrate to those box. Now I've got another part that I'm really excited about also. So Precision Power has now introduced and they're now shipping and in stock the complete lowers for 14 and newer Harley. So you're gonna get a vivid gloss black lower, completely assembled with your vents, all necessary hardware, and it's gonna come with the precision power six and a half inch speakers for those in one kit so you have everything you need. Now when you buy this, it's gonna come with wiring that's completely plug and play to add in to the plug and play amp setup. At Volunteer Audio, we also know you may want to buy these and you've got a different amplifier or a different setup already. You just want to add them on. We're going to include our 14 and up add-on harnessing that just plugs into the upper pods to make that very simple. But we're excited. These are some great products. They're going to sound great. They look great. I'm really excited to do a walk-away video later after we do an install and show you just how loud this amplifier can be, but also how clean it sounds. So it's enjoyable. A lot of systems are loud. We want to build systems that are loud and enjoyable to listen to also. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, being a subscriber. If you're not, simply click the button and subscribe to Volunteer Audio. Uh, continue to follow our other videos, share them with your friends, and I hope this knowledge that we share encourages you to take on a project like this on your own. Our step-by-step -step videos take a lot of time on our end, but it's all done with you in mind. So I hope this has encouraged you to take on one of these projects. If it's something you still feel like I don't want to do it myself, reach out to us. I'd love to meet you. We could do the installation for you. We're, we're located in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. We're about a 40 minute ride from the Great Smoky Mountains. Come in on a Friday night. I'll knock out your system. Saturday, you'll be riding in the Great Smokies and joining a, a wonderful radio. But thank you again for watching. Please subscribe, like it, share it, and God bless you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.